One moment everyone is going to remember from Hurricane Hannah, the tip of Bob Hall Pier coming off. We showed you some of the extensive damage the pier underwent yesterday, but this isn't the first time the pier has come face to face with a hurricane. In fact, Bob Hall Pier has an extensive history with hurricanes and damage from those. Our Ashley Gonzalez gives us history recap and shows us what the city and county have planned for the pier. For the coastal bend, Hurricane Hannah was a one day event. She came and went. The goal of having zero fatalities was we met that and that's that's the best we can have. We just uh, we didn't lose anybody. Zero fatalities, but countless destructions. Some of those on Bob Hall Pier or what's left of Bob Hall Pier. They originally built a wooden pier in the 1950s. The county decided instead of going back with a wooden pier to go with a concrete pier that could withstand storms better. This is the first time in, in that 37 year history of this pier that it's come off. Local official Greg Smith says every hurricane that comes face to face with this pier is different. Hannah, very much a water storm, a broad storm to make landfall 100 miles south of here and do this kind of damage. Harvey was a Cat 4 storm. And that Gulf was angry during Harvey. So it made it through the Cat 4, but it didn't make it through the Cat 1. On Sunday, Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales got a first-hand look of the morning after and what Hannah left. We took a beating out here at Bob Hall Pier. I'm particularly a little heartbroken because we've lost a lot of beach. The erosion, in my opinion, looks severe. Um, you can see here on the, on the ramp up, the concrete blocks have been moved. And those blocks? are not light or easy to move. The wave action was powerful enough to just knock those 1,200 pound concrete blocks into the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty powerful stuff. Judge Canales says herself and other local officials plan on getting Bob Hall Pier back up steady and on its pillars once again. Put our heads together and find all the resources of funds that'll be necessary to make sure that uh, we restore this great pastime uh, back in its health again. Judge Canales says there's still no word yet on when repairs can begin. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.